Hello, this is Jennifer from the Jennifer Maker DIY and Craft blog. Today I'm going to show you how to roll three different paper flowers with a minimum of fuss. First we'll do a Gerbera daisy, then we'll do a carnation, and finally a rose. And all you need to roll flowers are the cut flower petals spirals, and you can find all three of these flower files free on my blog at jennifermaker.com. And a hot glue gun, but you can also use regular glue, and a quilling tool. Now I have a tutorial on how to make a quilling tool inexpensively on my blog as well. It looks just like the one I'm using here, in fact. So let's get started. To roll the paper Gerber or Daisy, insert the smaller loose end into the slot at the end of your quilling tool. Now just spin the tool in your fingers and the paper rolls right up onto it. Try to keep the paper from slipping down too far on this quilling tool. I like to keep it above the black bumper that you see here on my tool, as that makes it easier later on. When it's all rolled up, gently hold the flower in your hand and carefully pull it off the quilling tool. You can then rearrange petals to your liking. Uh, feel free to like move the back petals around. You can even like um, loosen it up because sometimes the flower looks better if it's not quite so tightly rolled up. Whatever works best for you. And once everything is good, you just apply hot glue to the rolled bottom petals and then press the circle onto the glue to keep it all together. Voila, you have a pretty paper daisy. Now let's roll up a carnation. As you can see, the carnation looks a little different, uh, but it essentially rolls up exactly the same way. You put that loose end in a slot on your quilling tool and you roll the quilling tool towards you. Um, now the leaves on the, the, sorry, the petals on the carnation are, um, they, they're a little bigger. They'll tend to want to get stuck on each other more, so you just go a little slower, but you just keep rolling them on up onto that tool you keep it above that black bumper to keep everything in line that really works best when you take it off because then all of all of your petals are basically right there ready to be glued and um, so you bring that right around just like this and you hold that carefully in your hand take off the tool and you can go ahead and rearrange things now or you can glue it right away. It depends really on your personal taste and the, really even the type of flower that you're making. So you put lots of glue right on those rolled up petals and you put a you know, little circle right over on top of them, just like that, and you hold it in place. And then once you've done that, you can arrange the, the petals how you like. Now in the case of the carnation, I think that it works best if the petals aren't perfectly flat, but instead have some ruffle to them. So you could use a tool to do that, which I've done in a different video, or you can just use your fingers and curl them. Really, this the, the minimum fuss way is just to use your fingers, or you don't even have to do that. If you're happy with the way it looks, move on and let's do the next flower. Okay, so now let's do the rose. Just like before, we put the loose end right into the slot on the cooling tool and we roll that right up. I think the rose flowers tend to roll a little easier because the shape of the petal isn't quite so large and so and also the base is a little thicker on this one. I mean it's really just the style of flower that it is. And so you just roll that right up, keeping the edges, bottom edges aligned as much as possible, just like before. When you get to the end, you gently pull off your tool. And you put glue on the rolled petals at the bottom. And you put the circle over the glue. Now, the rose petals definitely need a little something extra. They don't look good just straight, in my opinion. But it's not difficult to do. You can just use the round edge of your cooling tool to roll all the petals on the rose outward um, because I think that really looks the best here. So you just take the edge of your petals and you just roll it right over the edge of your cooling tool. It doesn't take long to do at all. 
and you just work your way around. Um, I like to work from the outside to the inside um, just because it's a little easier to get to the outside ones first. The nice thing about paper flowers is that you don't have to be, they don't have to be perfect. There's supposed to be something based on nature and while nature is beautiful, uh, nature is full of imperfections. And in fact, it's the imperfections that make it look more realistic, to be perfectly honest. And this is what I used all of my rolled paper flowers for. I made a wreath. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please also subscribe to my channel so you're notified of new videos when they are released. And um, let me know what you thought of this video by giving it a like. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time.